Hi, everybody! Hi, Hi Dr. Dr. Nick! Welcome to a very special episode of What If Archetypes, where we will be finally looking over the many cards used by the character Topia, everyone's favorite rebellious Exesian from Yu-Gi-Oh! Unleashed. In this special episode, I will be covering both the Xyz decks that he used in the series, including his famous One for All Dragon Saga. So to kick things off, let's start with the Masquerade archetype. This was a deck that Topia used during Season 2, during his, um, depression period, where, after losing those who he cared about, he lost all hope within his own existence. The archetype itself are named after different actors, and were designed by my good buddy Crimson Eyes, who also did the design for One for All Dragon as well. I'd recommend checking out his channel, he's a really funny guy. And by the off chance that you're watching this mate, cheers. Anyway, I'm S Code Knight, and let's begin this homage to our favourite golden masked hero with the Masquerades. Right, ladies and gentlemen, now we move on to Topia's more well-known deck, the Magic Hunter Archetype. These cards are also an Xyz deck, which mostly focus on Xyz summoning monsters through various levels. They even have their own bit of lore. For you see, the Magic Hunters in the world they live in are a band of strong, powerful magic-using heroes, which, as the name implies, they hunt magic users. Their goal is to keep the entire world they live in and all of its wrongdoing magic users under control. However, they're more than just a ragtag group of magic police. They're basically family and will do anything to look out for one another. And if it wasn't obvious, this deck is inspired by the fairy tale anime franchise. Although, perhaps a bit too much in some areas. You got a lawsuit coming! Uh, uh, maybe I should, I don't know, redesign some of these at a later date. Although, fun fact, um, Topia was originally going to use a samurai-inspired deck called Silver Samurai, but I decided to change it at the last minute due to not being 100% sure how to draw them. Hey, I was still new to it at the time. Anyway, I'm S Code Knight, and this is the Magic Hunter Archetype. Also, fun fact, you know Happy, the little cat from the series? Did you know his species are called Exceed? Granted, it's pronounced Exceed and not Exceeds, but still, does sound kind of similar, doesn't it?
<sighs> Sheesh, looking back at some of these old designs, I guess it just shows how far I've come with this stuff, eh? Um, anyway, to wrap things up, we'll be looking at a few other minor cards which Topia have used, including his famous One For All Dragon. The One For All is a powerful Xyz monster, which Topia was gifted when he was deemed worthy by his old sensei. The dragon itself is inspired by a story about an ancient hero who fused his soul with a dragon and gained unlimited power. If it wasn't obvious, this card is inspired by the quirk One For All from My Hero Academia. I was going through a bit of a craze at the time. Despite that, there are also a handful of subtle references to the quirk through One For All Dragon. There were nine copies of One For All Dragon in all the world, and that's how many users of One For All there are in the series. Fearing that this power would fall into the wrong hands, the creator entrusted nine copies of this dragon to nine of his most beloved friends. Also, its attack boosting effect, once used twice, can give it up to 9,000 attack points. Uh, again, with the nines there. So, I think you guys have waited long enough. Here are the rest of Topia's cards, including the One For All Dragon. And with that, that is another episode of What If Archetypes Done. What did you think of Topia, and what did you think of the cards he used? Drop a comment down below, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.